Hello, I've got for you today the 2021 July release uh, by Mont Blanc. This is a writer's edition uh, for, well, dedicated to Arthur Conan Doyle, the author, the 19th century author and, and spiritual father of uh, Sherlock Holmes, of course. Uh, and so. This is a 9,000 limited edition pen. They also make, uh, I think, a 19 or 1800 limited edition pen, and then two, two artisanal versions of this pen. And so, uh, because Arthur Conan Doyle is most known for uh, his detective novels, Less is known, or it's less commonly known, that he was an ophthalmologist and an explorer. And what's interesting in this series is that uh, usually the the pens released, uh, so the, the various limited edition and the artisanal versions, all carry through very similar themes. They all take very similar inspiration. Whereas this year they're taking inspiration for the limited edition pens uh, from his detective novels, and from his work, slightly from his work as a physician, but the other editions of the pen take inspiration from completely different portions of his life. So he was also a, uh, in his later life, a fan of the paranormal and sort of spiritualism, and I think it's always funny to think that he was brought in uh, when Agatha Christie disappeared in 1930 to help with the case, and he insisted on bringing in a, a medium to, to communicate with. Agatha Christie. Uh, and then the, the highest version of this pen, the artisanal version of this pen, is inspired by his work as an explorer. And there you've got the icebergs and a very interesting effect. Uh, but here we've got the, the 9000, the, the most accessible version of this pen. And let's see, it just comes sheathed in a cellophane cellophane wrapper, uh, not sealed. Uh, this is a medium nib. So the color, the blue, bluish color is inspired by the foggy, uh, foggy weather of uh, London, where most of his novels were located, uh, were set, were set. And the pattern, there's a very interesting pattern. Let's see, yeah. There's a very interesting pattern that is supposed to reference the plaid of Sherlock Holmes uh, trench coat or attire. And then you've got two names of streets. Is that, yeah, no. so let's see, what is that? That's uh, upper. Wimple Street. That's where uh, Arthur Conan Doyle had his first ophthalmological practice. And then there's, of, of course, Baker Street down here. I'm glad that they changed this design a bit. So when it was presented to us as a prototype in the early release preview, the, the plaid design was only on the barrel and not on the cap. And on the cap, they had sort of a map a map outline that wasn't uh, particularly uh, cohesive with the plaid. So here they've, they've done away with that and they've just listed the names of the streets there uh, relevant to the character. So the, the top, once again, is a uh, simply precious resin. Uh, the clip is designed to reference, obviously, a loop uh, for obvious reasons. Sherlock Holmes, and in the loop here we've got a JB, uh, I think it's Joseph Bell, uh, the apparently the, the character that inspired Arthur Conan Doyle to uh, develop Sherlock Holmes, or at least the character on which he was based, in theory. I've seen other references uh, that say that, I think it's his, his, his family mentioned that it was he who was his own uh, inspiration for Sherlock Holmes, but uh, Bell is uh, more likely. So let's see. 
on the on the cap band a magnet for fingerprints we've got his signature let's see if we get that come on his signature there and then some scroll work some leaves that are supposed to reference the the front page or the first title page of the scarlet letter uh, which I think was his first uh, Sherlock Holmes novel, and then the date of the release, October 30th, 1886. And so that's the, the cap. And so the the nib, let's see if we can get that to you. Come on. Mm, nope. So let's see a little bit further. The nib contains quite a few elements. I think it's a bit, a bit busy for uh, my liking, but it obviously contains Arthur Conan Doyle's portrait, uh, and then a flying dinosaur, uh, and then some other references to some of the other work uh, Arthur Conan Doyle wrote in his later life that he's less known for. So he wrote, uh, I think it's a Lost World, uh, in, like 1916 or something like that, uh, where he tried to develop an entirely new character, uh, an entirely new world, uh, new universe with flying dinosaurs. Uh, so, let's see, is this... Yeah, so it's 18 karat gold, really plated, and then all the fittings are PVA, rhythm. is it PVA or PV, PVD, uh, coated rhythm fin uh, fittings. Uh, very much like the previous writer's edition uh, for Victor Hugo, it is quite quite back heavy, maybe not as bad. The center of gravity is going to be somewhere, somewhere around here. Uh, so it balances not quite as bad as the, the Victor Hugo, but still that mass at the back is quite noticeable. Uh, it is a piston filler, I go a bit stuck. Not as smooth as some of the other ones, uh, but this is the first time I operated. It's not inked, so uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, I think the color, the color is a bit uh, well. It's better than the bright blue, obviously. Uh, but I think this this year is one of the first years, in my opinion, that they produced a. Uh, a series of pens for the writer's edition that all work well together. So uh, that's probably a matter of taste, but I think the the previous years, having the sort of the matte black and glossy platinum finish on the uh, special edition that didn't really fit well with the uh, matte platinum finish of the the other limited edition version of this pen. Whereas this year, this pen is accompanied by a brown limited edition pen that actually goes quite well with this. I don't have it at the moment. I'm ordering a speci uh, specific number and some modifications. That'll come in, in October, apparently. Uh, when it does, I'll compare them and I'll actually tell you what I'm going on about. So in the box, you've obviously got the little pen slot a much deeper recess than is customary. This little padded protection, a little bit flimsier than usual, and then a an information booklet. So this information booklet is uh, pretty pretty much the course. They just present the various versions: uh, fountain pen, uh, ballpoint pen, and whatever roller ball. A bit of a history of Arthur Conan Doyle's life in five languages, and then they go into the the various bits of inspiration. So there you got the Forgotten World, his uh, his other less known, at least less known to me. I'm amazed. I'm absolutely staggered that he has fifty fifty six short stories uh, to his. To his name under Sherlock Holmes, uh, and sometimes they're classified as <laughs> kids' stories. Uh, I've not read them, but uh, not read all of them at least. Uh, certainly an interesting character uh, to dedicate a pen to.
So I guess the final thing, as, as expected, the, uh, the entire thing is packaged in a simulated book. Uh, fits quite, quite well with the rest of the, the versions of these pens. Uh, and there you have it, the 2021 20, release by Montblanc, limited edition, writer's edition uh, for Arthur Conan Doyle.